What's up YouTube, you're Inside the Edge, and I'm back with another video. And today we're gonna get into the NBA. The NBA media is today, it started for most teams for today, and um, tomorrow I think the other half of the league will be inserted into this NBA media day. Um, this is like a good time where we start to see athletes, you know, they talk about the team chemistry and what to build on. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty unique time for the NBA right now because we're seeing so many rosters, so many teams that's just switching up, so many teams that's just done a whole 180. And that's just something we've seen with the Lakers with just having, you know, DeAndre, um, I'm sorry, um, Andre Drummond, Marcus Gasol, Avery Bradley, Montre Montrez Harrell, um, Morrison Twins, like one of the brothers. I mean, they had so many pieces and now this Lakers roster is like a whole 180, a whole new, a whole revamped team and Rob Palenka had a vision for real for him. But, um, you know, we're going to get into that. And, you know, another video I'm actually going to do for you guys is the Bulls because I do think the Bulls had the best off season. Um, next to the Lakers, I also think the Lakers had a really good off season. So, you know, with that being said, guys, I'm just going to read you guys the roster and then I'm just going to go from there. Um, I think a lot of us, could already assume. I mean, the Lakers has a shoot has a good chance at going to the to the finals this year. And they have a really good chance, um, and that's something that a lot of us want. You know, last year, you know, we could talk about KD with the foot on the line and you know the injuries and stuff. I mean, there's so many should have would have could have, but last year I think we would have gotten uh, Nets and Lakers finals. I think we would have got that if it weren't for injuries, and that was like the big key point to. So much that happened last year was injuries. You know, this this league was plagued with injuries, and a lot of that had to do with the transition from the bubble into that off season where there wasn't really a spam of players to rest and get that off season training. So it was like a really funky thing with the league. And I know LeBron he talked about it with um, Adam Silver, and it was just like a whole big, um, you know, it was just it was just a whole big thing with that because you know Kawhi was out, you know Murray was out, like just so many players got injured. It was just a whole spam of just basketball where players got no rest but with that being said guys let me let me get into it man we're going to talk about the lakers i'm just going to read you guys the roster spot and then i'm just going to get into you know just the balance of this team because this is a this is a well-balanced team you know you look at just from age and um you know you look at the veteran players to the young players i mean this is just a really balanced team but obviously with the new addition to carmelo carmelo's um he's a laker i can't believe he's a laker We've been talking about it for so many years, especially when he was like unemployed. Um, Trevor Reza, um, you know, this is a guy. He's coming back to LA. He played with LA a few years, few years ago with Kobe, I believe. Yeah, he won a championship with Kobe. Um, Ken Bazemore is on this roster. Anthony Davis, Wayne Ellington, um, Horton Tucker, Dwight Howard, LeBron, DeAndre Jordan. Um, you know, Wesley Matthews. That, that was a big pickup for them last year, and I'm surprised that he actually stayed with this team. I thought Wesley Matthews would have got traded. Um, I'm hearing a lot of rumors with Aaron Gordon possibly coming to LA, so we're gonna see about the, how long he's gonna stay with this Lakers team. Um, Mac McClung, I remember him in high school, he was an internet sensation, and I can't believe he actually has an official contract with the Lakers. I didn't see him becoming a Laker. Um, Malik Monk coming from Charlotte, young guard, Kendrick Nunn. Um, another guard that I think was a really good pickup. I'm surprised that the Heat even let him go so soon, but I already know the Heat, you know, they got Kyle Lowry now and stuff, so they already have the guard stuff situated. Austin Reeves, um, he's 23 years of age. Um, he's from Oklahoma. I don't know too much about him, but um, Rob Palenka is raving a lot about him. Um, obviously, um, you know, Rondo, we heard about Rondo coming back, and we also, and then, you know, Rondo, it, it's just so funny how, like, his career, how he's just bouncing around, but he's actually gonna probably get a second chip. <laughs> he's probably gonna get another chip. Um, I didn't think that the Lakers would, would bring him back, but um, Russell Westbrook, um, probably the focal point of this offense. So, you know, like I said, this is a well-rounded team. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that's up there in age, you know, it's guys that's, you know, in their mid thirties. And I know a lot of people would, would clown this Lakers team and say, hey, you guys are old and stuff, but you know, old, you know, we look at that word as a as a negative, but the word old is a positive to me. You know, being old or old, the, the word old, you know, there's a lot of people that are old have has wisdom. They have logic. They have a lot of knowledge. You know, they, they have a well-rounded mind. And that's why I think this Lakers team is going to be a well-rounded team because of the leadership that they have from LeBron, but also these veteran players that have been in the league for so many years. And, and at this point, you know, um, you know, for like Dwight Howard, Wade Ellington, um, you know, Wesley Matthews, 
um, you know, Westbrook, at this point, it don't even matter about the money and, and, and all this stuff. It's like at this point, a lot of these guys, they just want to win. You know, Dwight Howard, you know, he got a taste of winning when, you know, when he won with, uh, with, with the Lakers against Miami. Um, you know, he already got a taste of that. I know he wants that. You know, Carmelo, for so many years, we talked about how he's never won a championship, but this is his time. And, um, you know, just, you know, that hunger is, is really going to motivate him. And I think it's just going to motivate all these young guys. But looking at the starters... I um, mean, this is just from ESPN. So this is what the this is what the starting lineup is looking like to at least begin the season. This is from ESPN. This is the the most recent source that I can get. But Westbrook, Westbrook at point, Wayne Ellington is going to be the two. LeBron is going to be the three. Anthony Davis is going to be the four, and then you have Dwight at the five. Um, for the second unit, it's going to be Kendrick Nunn, uh, Malik Monk, uh, Horton Tucker. Carmelo at the four, and DeAndre Jordan at the five. But I think Rondo might play more with the second unit than Kendrick Nunn. I think Kendrick Nunn was going to be more of the third, fourth. I think Rondo is going to be more, he's going to be more involved with the offense. Um, but that's just going to be the starting lineup. But I just think with this Lakers team, what's so different about the Lakers is they're so, they're all about matchups. And, you know, I don't think this is going to be the official starting lineup for the entire season because, like I said, the Lakers, it's all about matchups. It's all about who they're going up against, who can guard who. You know, looking at and a prime example was looking at that title run against Miami or, or just even throughout that playoffs. You know, there were times where JaVale McGee wasn't playing for a stretch of games. Excuse me. And then there were times where Dwight, he didn't even play for a stretch of games just because it's not that they're not good or anything, but it's just all about talent and mismatches. So, you know, I'm really surprised that, um, I, you know, I would have thought that Anthony Davis would maybe – be at the five and then Melo be at the four, but I don't think Anthony Davis, I don't, most most big players, most bigs don't like playing the five. Like if you're going to play the five, you you know, you're going to want to be a defender. You know, that's, you know, most guys that like Anthony Davis, they would rather just play the four because you can be, you know, you can stretch the court out. You can be more at the three point line. You can kind of sag, you know, more at, you know, the mid range game side of things. So um, you know, like I said, this team, this Lakers team is all about adjustments. Um, and just just the signing of Malik Monk, um, Kendrick Nunn, I mean, these are young guards that are fast and quick. And I think that's what's going to bring a lot of motor to this team besides Westbrook. You know, I think, you know, Kendrick Nunn, he's an underrated player, but he's a guy that's he's a he's a like a quickster. I look at him as just a quickster. You know, he can get to the rim. Um, you know, he has a smooth jump shot, but, you know, him. I don't really look at him as a point guard. I look at him more as a as a guard that's, that can shoot, you know. But that's why I think Rondo, being in that second unit, I think he's going to be, you know, distributing the ball and getting people involved. And I think that's why he's, he's going to be more of a stronger unit at the point than, you know, Christian Nunn being, you know, the backup point guard for this team. But, you know, I think overall the veteran play and, and Malik Monk, um, another explosive um, player, young, um, you know, can shoot the ball, can get to the rim. Um, I think he's going to be a, a, I don't know how much time he's really going to be seeing on the court, just because, like I said, there's so many players to utilize, you know, and um, Wayne Ellington, that's an, another good shooter. I mean, I don't know how Wayne Ellington and Wesley Matthews, I don't know how they're going to coexist with their minutes. And then especially how I'm hearing rumors about how the Lakers are trying to bring in um, Eric Gordon. Um, I think Eric Gordon is better than both of them. And I think, you know, where, where would he align? So, you know, it's just a little bit of question marks. Um, and I think the biggest question mark I can say about this Lakers team is, um, you know, the three-point shooting. Um, how good of a three-point shooting team this, this team is actually going to be? I think that's probably like the biggest um, question mark. But defensively, I think this is going to be a good defensive team. Um, I think LeBron, like I said, LeBron, he's he's just the greatest athlete to be around. And I think a lot of these young guys are going to see his work ethic. And, um, you know, it, they're just going to see his work ethic, and that's going to push them to be better. But, you know, this Lakers team is completely different. I mean, Kyle Kuzma, I mean, he's gone. So many players left this team. You know, DeAndre, um, you know, um, Andre Drummond, Marc Gasol, you know, Marcus Harrell, um, Carway Pope. I mean, all of these guys are gone, and now it's just a whole you you know new new unit. And um, I think LeBron has to like regroup, and I think he did like a private practice a couple of days ago, and 
Um, I think he's going to have to reconstruct this whole team because this is a completely different team. And I think it's going to, you know, I don't think it's going to take too long for everyone to play together because, like I mentioned before, with the veterans, I think most of these guys know what it is. Like Trevor Ariza, he, you know, he knows what it is. You know, he's been in so many moments, so many playoff moments. You know, he knows what it takes to win. Um, I think, uh, you know, most guys are going to be on the same page because they're all quote unquote old, <laughs> you know, they're all old, but you know, I think they all have the right mindset and the ultimate goal is to win a championship. Carmelo Anthony, he said it on ESPN, I think he said it on first take with Stephen A. Smith. And he said, is, if we don't make it, if we don't win this year, it's a bust year. And I think a lot of us could agree. So hopefully we're going to see, you know, a Lakers and Nets lineup. I do think that this Lakers team is, is they're very, very deep. I think they're deeper than the Nets. And that's why I picked, you know, Lakers to be my favorites to come out the West and win it all. So, you know, AD looks like he's back um, healthy. I know he dealt with a lot of foot injuries, but um, I'm seeing reports saying he looks very, very good. He looks very healthy. You know, LeBron, you know, he's going to lead this team. Wessel Westbrook, he's, I believe he's going to be the focal point of this team. Um, I, and I think he should be. And I know Westbrook, a lot of people can talk about how he's not a point guard, how he turns the ball over. But when he's playing, you know, when he's playing with a team like this, man, I mean, Think about all those triple doubles with players that were, I don't want to use the word bums, but just not so elite talented players. And he's getting all those assists. Just imagine what he can do with this team now. Um, just imagine how much assists he can get. You know, he, Weston Westbrook, is a, he's a floor general point guard. And people don't see it. And some people don't look at it because they only see the dunks and stuff. But he's a well-rounded point guard. And I think this system is going to fit best for him. And I think LeBron is probably not going to take the back seat to Weston Westbrook. But he's going to allow West Russie to be Russie. And I think he's going to lead this team. So with that being said, guys, um, I'm just going to wrap this video up. I don't want it to be too, too long. But I want to hear your guys' opinions on... Um, you know, how far you think the Lakers are going to go this offseason? Um, what's your favorite um, move that the Lakers did? Um, how do you feel about Rondo coming back? Um, you know, let me know in the you know comments below. You know, drop a comment. You know, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, man. Um, I'm going to be doing another video. I'm going to be talking about the Bulls because I definitely think they have the best offseason. I'm going to talk about the, you know, the, um, the Eastern Conference and what teams got stronger. So NBA season is back. Football is happening. So... With that being said, guys, I'm going to have a good day. See you guys until next time. Peace.